Hi, over the next couple months I'm going to be posting periodically um, information about the upcoming release of Market at 7, uh, particularly different parts of the program where we're going to see changes. Uh, this particular part is going to demonstrate um, some of the new integration uh, to hopefully make it a little easier for you to find out when um, an error occurs in your records. Uh, so let me show you the workflow is how it works now. So uh, this is the current version of Mark Edit. Uh, let me open up Mark Tools here. Uh, let's say I have a file. In this case, I have a, a bad file. This is a single record. Um, and in this single record, there is uh, a um, in the single record, there's an error in the file record itself says that it's only one byte. So when I execute it, uh, I get this note saying that one record was processed, some records appear to be invalid. So at this point, um, users have a couple of options. They can open the record in the mark editor and see if the program healed it correctly. Um, and that's still going to happen in mark edit. Mark edit will still continue to have multiple breaking algorithms. And so when it identifies a problem like this, it'll go ahead and attempt to try and uh, fix the record. Uh, but my uh, advice has always been to see what's wrong with the record. In that case, um, the user would have to go to Tools and Mark Validator, know that they want to check the record structure, and then process the data. And then we see here, the record link doesn't match the record. That's the record link. This is what's reported in the record. We can see that here. Um, and so we can see that that's the problem. Um, So uh, this is a, something that comes up often. People will run um, the process, uh, they get an error, uh, some kind of a formatting error, and the uh, program tells you that you might want to use the validator, but most people don't know um, what steps to take um, or get confused um, in terms of which option to select, since there are three options there. So let's take a look at Mark Edit 7. So this is the uh, current um, alpha version that I'm working on. Uh, let's go ahead and open Mark Tools. And you'll see that there's been some adjustments to the form. Uh, so we've got the Mark Breaker set up. So let's go ahead and pick the same file. And we will process that file. Again, we get the box telling us that the one record was processed. Um, the red tells us there's a problem, but the new thing is we see this little check mark. And this check marks, and I will most likely, I'm not sure if it's going to stay this button or if I'll add some text to it. There'll definitely be a tooltip so that you know what it is. Um, but when this button shows up, if you click it, the mark edit will automatically determine which version. Uh, which option in the validator you need to use in order to determine what's the problem. And so in this case, I didn't have to do anything else. Um, all I had to do was check that button, and this will tell me that there is a record that's a problem. Um, and so the user uh, doesn't have to, to go any farther uh, to, to figure out what the, the problem might have been um, to uh, figure out how to fix it. Uh, one of the things that I'm... Uh, considering doing um, is if you remember in the validator uh, there are three options. The first one is to validate the record structure. Uh, the second is to uh, actually remove the invalid records from your data set. Um, I'm considering uh, a uh, secondary option here that would allow you to from this um, window uh, actually clean the data file so that you end up with uh, a data file that's uh, clean in a data file that um, has the errors isolated. Uh, but that's something that um, I will talk to the community a little bit more about in terms of seeing um, which what makes the most sense uh, to folks in terms of um, providing that kind of level of integration. At this point, I think just being able to um, quickly find out what record in your file is a problem um, 
before you go through the process of, of interrogating the record further and deciding how to break it down um, should make the process a little bit easier. Uh, and this will show up um, anytime there's an error in a record set, either a mark record set, um, so that's going to be errors that uh, show up in red. Um, it's going to be errors sometimes. Mark edit will show a negative 99 or a negative uh, large number. Uh, those tend to be formatting errors. Um, again, uh, you'll be able to check this box, and Mark edit will uh, attempt to validate the file um, and be able to tell you, most likely, uh, if not what the error is, which record is causing um, the, uh, the problem in the, uh, the tool. Um, so hopefully that, uh, those, those kind of little integrations um, that I'm slowly working through um, in the uh, tool set uh, will make um, using the application uh, a little bit easier, especially um, when working with uh, third-party data files, which it seems like um, we tend to deal with more and more in the library community. Uh, so that's where we're at. Um, I will continue to post kind of little updates as I work through um, new changes, and if you have questions, you can feel free to drop me a line.